What is Jogging Back Channel? Today we've got episode number 32 of the Los Angeles Angels franchise mode here on MLB 21 The Show. And we are back and we are currently in the month of September. And oh my goodness, it is a possibility, it's a very good possibility that the Angels are making the playoffs. It took us three damn years in the series, but I think it's actually happening. I mean, if you're looking at the sim, we're maintaining a pretty good lead over the Minnesota Twins, and we are currently 85 and 72, 86 and 72, and I think it's gonna happen. This game against, okay, AJ Minter gets hurt, that sucks, but that game against the Astros, we lose, but still, we are not gonna win the division, but look at that. Two games away from putting away the Twins, they lose, and now we get a chance to take home that AL wildcard spot. Of course, most likely we will be playing that wildcard game on the road in Houston. But again, as long as we get there, that's all that matters. And tonight we have a chance to put away the Twins for good as we host the Texas Rangers, a team that has completely given up basically on ever trying to win a baseball game. I mean, Noah Syndergaard got shipped off to D.C. during the trade deadline. Joey Gallo was let walk in the offseason. This Rangers team is terrible. And we got Jose Barrios, potentially the Cy Young, heading to the mound tonight. The only thing stopping him from that Cy Young was the injury this season, but he has been incredible all year. And folks, if you haven't not yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more LMB21 The Show here on the channel. And Jose Barrios is going to work that ground out to start off this game. Jose Abreu is going to beat him to the bag. We've got one gone in the inning for Brock Holt. On the full count, Holt hit that ball in the air, but straight to Mike Trout. And the multi-time MVP has got that one for the second out of the inning. And now David Dahl comes up, and he strikes out. Fastball up and in by Barrios. It's a 1-2-3 inning, and Dane Dunn is now pitching for the Texas Rangers. Area of 6.04 in the season with a 6 and 16 record and 31 starts. He has not been good at all this year. Corey Seager comes up first for the Angels on the 1 2 count. Seager hits that ball into right field. It splits the shift to center field, right center field. It splits the shift. He is on. Now, Shoyo Tani comes up on the 3 2 and Otani's against that change up high in the air into right field. Going back on it is going to be Steel Walker, and that gets out. Okay, Shohei Otani's on the board, 357 feet in the right field, is 22nd of the season, and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim take a 2-0 lead here in the bottom of the first inning. What a start as we look to clinch that playoff berth. All right, Mike Trout now comes up on the 1-1 count, high breaking knuckle curve over the plate by Dane Dunning as Trout's going to pop that ball up into the left field. There is David Dahl for the first out of this inning. Anthony Rendon now comes up on the full count. Rendon's going to draw a ball four on the slider away. So run around first here with one out for Marcel Ozuna. On the 2-1 count, Ozuna's going to blast that slider into left field and that ball will get down as well. So we will now have runners up first and second here for Jose Abreu and the former MVP comes up on the 1-1. He hits that ball on the ground. Okay, they're going to tag out Tony and throw to first. I mean, a weird unconventional way of picking up the double play, but the Rangers get him. So they're back at the play. Alex Dickerson's going to hit that ball right to Tony at third base. Rendon's make the play one gone in the inning for Nate Lau on the 3-2 count he's gonna draw ball four on the slurve away so Lau is on first with one out in the inning and here comes Adley Rushman the switching catcher on the 3-2 is gonna pop that ball up into the infield and Corey Seager will be under it for the second out of the inning Nick Solak now is up on the 2-2 and he strikes down the slurve away by Jose Barrios we go to the bottom of the second inning where David Fletcher is leading us off the 2-1 and Okay, Dane Dunning, I see you. Okay, the play off the mound by Dunning will be the first out of the inning. And Brandon Marsh now comes up on the 2-2 sharply hit ball, but it will go right on the ground and right to second base. Solak's got him for the second out of the inning, bringing up Hebert Ruiz to the plate. On the 3-2, him and Francisco Alvarez still have been trading spots at catcher. I just don't know who to go with. I'm leading towards Ruiz, but both those guys with a potential. Who knows for the future? And that will be Corey Seager. What, what are we doing over there? Seager just completely misses the ball. All right, they're going to count that as a hit for the Rangers, and now they're going to try to steal second. Yeah, do, do not test Kieber Ruiz like that. One gone in the inning now for Jake Shiner on the one-two count. He swings and misses on the fastball up by Barrios. So we got two gone in the inning now on the three-two count for Julio Pablo Martinez, and he's going to hit that ball into right field, and that one will get down. So Martinez will have extra bases. Brandon Marsh just taking all day out there in right field, and Martinez is on with a double, bringing Brock Holt to the play on the one-one. One, and Holt will hit that ball in the right field, but Brandon Marsh will be there to make the play. And we are still up 2 0 in the bottom of the third. But Corey Seager leads us off on the 1 1. He hits that ball on the ground. It's going to be a tough play at short, but there to make the play will be Brock Holt for the first out 
of the inning. And now Shohei Otani comes up on the 3-2. Homer in his last at bat. This time, though, he's going to pop that ball up into very shallow left field. That will be the third baseman there to make the play, which, of course, is Jake Shiner. Two gone in the inning for Mike Trout, and Trout will get around that slider, hit that ball right to third base. And that will put an end to Trout's second at bat of the game. We go to the top of the fourth inning where David Dahl is up on the 3-2, and he strikes down the slurf in. All right, down goes David Dahl. Barrios is dealing like he always does. And now Alex Dickerson will get around that changeup. Hit that ball right to first. Straight to Jose Abreu. Two down in the inning now. On the one-two count. That's going to be strike three. Looking at that pitch high in the zone. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning where Anthony Rendon leads us off. And he'll hit that changeup into center field. In center will be Pablo Martinez. We've got one gone for Marcelo Zuna on the one-two. No, Zuna will get jammed on that sinker. And that will be a high pop-up into right field for the second out in the bottom of the fourth and Jose Abreu is now up on the 1-1 one, one, and Abreu's gonna tap on to center field there we go Jose Abreu will be on with a two out single getting a man on for David Fletcher on the 1-2 and Fletcher maybe should have held up on that one it's gonna be actually a tough play though at short Brock Holt is gonna make the play I thought David Fletcher was going to beat that one out. Apparently, he did not. And Adley Rushman, to lead off the top of the fifth, will hit that ball right to Corey Seager at short. We have got one down in the inning now for Nick Solak. On the one-two count, Barrios deals, and Solak hits that ball right on the ground right to Anthony Rendon. Rendon's going to make the easy play for the second out of the inning, bringing up Steel Walker on the two-two, and he will hit that ball again right to Corey Seager. The Angels infield making plays, and we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, where Brandon Marsh leads us off on the two-two. Dane Dunning, by the way, has settled in since giving up that home run to Otani. Marsh can hit that ball really well into center field. I mean, you can't do it any better, but it is caught in center field. And now, here comes Keeper Ruiz in the 3-2. Again, another perfectly hit ball almost by Ruiz, but it is grounded out to second. Bringing Corey Seager to the play on the 3-2 count. Seager pops that ball up into the infield, and it will be caught for the third out of the inning. And damn, that ball took a while to get down. We now go to the top of the sixth, where Jake Shiner leads it off for the Rangers. Barriers at 81 pitches, so you gotta look out for that as we get the first out of the inning right there. David Fletcher gonna make the play. One down for Julio Pablo Martinez. Top of the order, and he rips that ball in the left field. Going back, though, is Marcelo Zuna, and Ozuna will make that play. We've got two down now for Brock Holt. On the one-two count, Holt hits that ball right to second base. There is David Fletcher, and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning where no more Dane Dunning. It is Wes Benjamin. Eerie at 5.16 on the season, over 84 appearances. Shohei Otani will be first up on the 3-2, and he will drop all four on that slider in. So we got a runner on first here with no outs for Mike Trout. On the 2-1, Trout going to lift that ball into the gap. Will that one get down? And it is caught by Julio Martinez. Oh, and Otani's going to get caught up, and the oh, throws off line, but they're still going to beat him to the bag. Terrible play right there by both sides. It's a double play, though. The Rangers will double him up, and they will force a pop out right there of Anthony Rendon. It's a quick bottom of the sixth, and we now go to the top of the seventh inning. We're now pitching for the Angels will be Andrew Miller. Area 4.62 on the season for him. Over 34 games and 37 innings up first to the plate. For the Rangers will be David Dahl on the 2-2, and he will hit that ball right into the shift and straight to second base. At second will be David Fletcher for first out of the inning. Now up is Alex Dickerson on the 3-2, and he hits that ball high in the air in the right center field, but there to make the play will be Brandon Marsh. Two gone now in the inning for Texas, as now to the plate will be Nate Lau, and Lau rips one right to first, and there's Jose Abreu. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning, where we've got one down in the inning for Abreu, and he hits that ball up the middle. Will that ball get through? It won't, but Abreu's going to leg it out. Jose Abreu with an infield single. You didn't think you are going to see that one today, did you? And yeah, David Fletcher will then turn right into a double play. That will do it for the bottom of the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth where Rossiella Iglesias, the former All-Star, will come out to pitch for LA. Era of 2.36 so far this year. He's been tremendous as being a setup man for Jordan Hicks. Adley Rushman first up on the 3-2, and he hits that ball right on the ground right to Anthony Rendon. Rendon's got him for first out of the inning, and now up will be the second baseman. Nick Solak on the 2-2. He hits that ball high in the end of the left field. Can Marcelo Zuna get there? He will right down the line. Two down now for Steel Walker. On the one, two, he pops that ball out in to shallow left field, left center. Seager has got him. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. We're now hitting for the Angels. Will we keep it Ruiz in the three, two? And he hits that ball right up the middle. Perfect piece of hitting right there for Ruiz. It's a one out single. And now to the plate. Will be the top of the order. It's Corey Seager in the three, two. And Seager is going to hit that fastball into right field. It gets out of here in a hurry. 
It is a line drive shot for Corey Seager. His 200th of his career. 388 feet in the right. And the Los Angeles Angels will take a 4-0 lead here in the bottom of the 8th. And they are three outs away with a four-run cushion of heading to the damn playoffs. We are going to go straight to that top of the ninth. And Jordan Hicks is coming out for the save. He's gotten 38 of them so far this year. Over 40 opportunities. Jake Shiner is up first in the 1-1. One -one. He pops that ball out into shallow center. In center field or at second base is David Fletcher. One gone in the inning now for Julio Pablo Martinez in the 1-1. One -one, and he rips that inside slot and he takes it into right field. Martinez has been one of the good parts of this Rangers lineup throughout this entire year. He rips one into right field. It's his 10th home run of the season. And the Rangers will get one run in this game. They are only down by three now as Brock Holt will strike out on the sinker away. So we got two gone now in the inning. We are an out away and it's David Dahl on the one two count. He hits that ball over the middle right to Corey Seager. Seager's going to make the play. The Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim are heading to the playoffs for the first time in nine whole seasons. Mike Trout will get his second chance at October baseball. And yeah, it's going to be a one game playoff. The Angels got to go get the job done, most likely in Houston, Texas, against them damn Astros. It is going to be a movie, folks, in Houston, Texas tomorrow night as the Angels will stroll into that game. Currently with a record of 88 and 73. We will see their final record in tomorrow's episode. But, God, we finally get back to the playoffs. It only took Adam Corey Seager, Marcelo Zuna, Jose Abreu, I mean, Corey Kluber, Max Scherzer, Jose Barrios. It took all of that. Jordan Hicks as well. But we are finally heading back to the playoffs. And, folks, thank you all for watching episode number 32 of the Los Angeles Angels franchise mode. You're going to MLB 21 the show. If you have not yet, make sure to subscribe button down below for more. And Mamba forever.